Investigation of the Scripps Formation reveals that it is a very different type of sandstone. There's a lot more clay in here. Now, some of this is just due to the uh, presence of the, uh, that there's a little bit of soil that's formed on top of it recently. But actually, no, there is a lot more clay. And you can see these layers, my finger for scale, are quite a bit thinner than you saw in the San Diego Formation. You're also not seeing fossils the way you saw them in San Diego Formation. You are seeing something else, though, that's really freaking awesome here. Ah, this is a very interesting mineral. Um, I, if I could grab a sample, I might grab a sample. I'm not sure if I'm going to grab one from here, but um, yeah, notice this reddish stuff. This is intriguing. So what we're seeing here is something called a concretion. This is a uh, this is basically some calcite and other minerals that harden in the pore spaces of the uh, sandstone right here. And you can see them very much concentrated in certain layers. Now, now the mineral in here is um, cubic. It has a very sulfury smell. What mineral might that be that gives you this formation if it smells like sulfur and has a cubic crystal habit?